The aspirations of today's British teenagers have changed. Hang on, let me get the girls out. <laughs> In a recent survey of girls aged 15 to 19, almost two thirds admitted that glamour modelling is their dream job. I just want this so much and I just don't want to go home. But it's a cutthroat industry. We were selling armpits, that would be the shot. <laughs> and only a few make it to the top. Yeah. Yeah. We wouldn't start unless they had a makeup to favour. For the first time in 30 years, glamour agency Samantha Bond Management opens its doors to reveal the tears. So stuff they said I was so good. And you are, and you are good. The tantrums. You've been in the sport with your clothes on. Sometimes when we don't have to pop us in knots. And the pressures. They said that I was fat, supposedly. This is life as a glamour girl. My mum's not as glamorous as people think it is. Coming up, the agency opens its doors to a batch of potential new signings. Samantha, what's your name? A topless shoot in Tenerife raises temperatures. Oh, mate, haven't you ever seen a naked woman before? And could one of Sam's most experienced models be over the hill at just 24? And now I'm at a point where I'm thinking, is my day over with glamour? It's drop-in week at Samantha Bond's agency in Chelsea. Agent Sam, PA Nikki, and model booker Chrissy are holding one of their regular open house sessions for wannabe glamour models. More than 500 girls contact the agency every month. Several times a year, they have a week when any girl can walk in. It's the agency's chance to spot the next big star. It's been in front of the camera and having that lovely glamorous life sort of thing. I'd really, really enjoy doing it. Please let me get in Sam Bond's agency. With me, is I don't see the point in working for hours and hours and not really getting no money. I'd prefer to do something I enjoy doing. I brought my Bible with me today as well, just in case. The thing is, Sam Bond is looking for a particular type of girl. OK, I'm Samantha. Samantha Bond is the first lady of glamour. There's one picture that we love of her in the dress. It's really gorgeous. She's run Britain's premier glamour agency for 30 years and discovered some of the industry's best-known names, including original glamour girl Jordan. She was once a successful model herself, all of which makes her one of the toughest judges in the business. What we look for in a model is obviously a photogenic face, a good figure and a professional attitude. The girl's going to really love the job and if she loves the job it brings her personality out and that's a great help as well. It makes her into a real winner. As soon as a girl comes through the door I basically know whether she's got it or not. Can you stand up for a minute? Yeah, sure. What it takes are looks that will appeal to lads mags, tabloids and top lingerie brands. Sam knows what appeals to those clients and magazines. They want a pretty face, height and natural curves. Girls that don't fit the profile are quickly shown the door. Quite flat chested and our yeah. girls are generally quite curvy. Are they? I mean, I'm a 32 C. Is that too small? You're very, you're very small, yeah. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to stay low. Sam's second in command is Nikki Diamond. Hi Vicky, it's Nikki. Can you give me a call at the agency as soon as you get this message? As they wait for more girls to turn up, one of their most experienced models is on the phone to Nikki. 24-year-old Louise Glover has been on the books for two years. No, I know. You're here and available, yeah. No, I know you are. Louise Glover has been in the glamour business for six years. In that time, she's graced the covers of almost every men's magazine, but her look is no longer in vogue. I've only really ever wanted to be a model. I, for some reason, really haven't been out to many castings. I do look at Nikki and Smart Bond as like my mentor. If I want advice, they're the people I ring. If I am upset about something in the industry, they're the people I tell because they're the ones to give me the answers. I'm ringing them two, three times a week, which most models should do anyway, just to, you know, keep in the minds of the agents because they get so many new girls coming through as well as all the main girls they've got and you just get forgotten about, so you've got to literally be on the phone to them. In Tenerife, two of Sam Bond's most successful girls have been flown to the island for a series of page three shoots for The Sun. Like 
23-year-old Katie Downs is one of an elite circle of only 16 regular Sun Girls. She spent four years as the face of Lads Mags, Loaded, Zoo and Nuts. You know, sometimes you feel like a tranny because you've got that much meat yeah. going in the new meat. 21-year-old Rian Sugden was snapped up by the Sun as soon as she started modelling just 18 months ago. She's become one of their most popular girls. So well, I've shaved my legs this morning. The bikini line to make sure nothing's hanging out. <laughs> My bitch is done. What are you going to do with Katie's hair, Jane, or is that done? Uh, Today they're shooting with Page 3 photographer Alison Webster. She's been selecting and photographing girls for the sun for two and a half years. 